What's your safety factor on flying here? Oh, so it, you know, it depends on what part of the rocket we're talking about. Anything that would be pressurized when people are around it has a higher safety factor than what is not. But the basic factors we work with in flight are anywhere from 1.1 to never really higher than 1.25. Got it. Yes. I mean, it's very different than like designing a railroad car where your factor of safety might be seven or eight. Oh, no. Yeah. And, and a factor of safety is if you can com compute the stress that the thing will break at, you design it to 1.1 times that. Right. 10% more load carrying capability. And really, a factor of safety is really a factor of ignorance. You have a factor of safety because you're not truly sure what might happen to it in the field. So you give yourself just a little bit more. And you talked about rail. Uh, big tractors are another one where you have big factors of safety, like seven times, 12 times. When we do rockets, we like to keep it closer to like just 10%, maybe 20% because we can't afford the weight. Got it, because, because every extra thousandth of an inch that you put in this webbing here over the course of a huge part like this, you're talking tons on the whole rocket. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And this is a booster plate, and so every seven pounds of that cost me a pound of spacecraft. So how long does it take to machine that? You have the tools here to machine this isogrid. Yeah, this is about a two-day operation altogether. Is this curled like a potato chip in this direction or in this direction? In the long direction. In the long direction. And you're going to see that operation as nice. we walk to the other end. Okay, perfect.